Ukraine says, Hi to all civilized world and thanks for your support. We appreciate it so much. Please subscribe to our channel, click on the bell to not miss new videos on our channel and stay up to date with the latest events. Thanks buddies, let's go. So what we have today? This morning, information appeared that Russia, Russian occupiers, undermined the Kakovka hydroelectric power station. The situation is critical. We will discuss the consequences further. We also see this video that residents are sharing on social media. We see drone footage. Currently, there is confirmed information from the Operational Command South that the Kokovka HPS has indeed been undermined. We understand that people, residents who are currently on the left bank of the Dnieper, should evacuate and make certain water reserves. We will discuss this in more detail later. Natalia from the Operational Command South will provide her explanation. Natalia Humanyuk, Chief of the Joint Coordination Press Center of the Defense Forces of Southern Ukraine. We say that the enemy constantly use techno blackmail, and from time to time, they really try to let it flow in this way. They have already made such attempts when several pontoons were damaged, and there was partial flooding of the left bank. What they achieved as a result was the flooding of their own bunkers, the loss of their own personnel because the left bank is geographically lower and will be the first to be subject to flooding. Considering how heavily mined it is by the enemy in preparation for the crossing of the Dnieper from our side, these ammunition will resurface creating additional danger to the same troops based there. In other words, it is not logical or reasonable. Techno-blackmail continues without regard for the civilian population. They harmed their own deployment areas first and foremost. Perhaps they got too nervous, expecting counterattacks. A Russian military official has practically admitted to the sabotage of the Kokovka hydroelectric power station. I have talked so much about the dam being blown up one day when we left Kherson. There was a lot of talk about it. But not everyone believed me, or rather, not everyone. Now for today, I won't say who blew it up or judge that, but from a tactical point of view, the Ukrainians can forget about the offensive on the Kherson direction. The question now is how effectively and organized the islands of our guys will be evacuated. They will be moved from the coastal line to other positions. That is the whole question. If all of this happens without losses, then we can blow up all the dams on the Dnieper, and it will only be beneficial. In the Telegram channel, they published infographics of the approximate scale of the flooding. The data was taken from open sources. It is claimed here that the wave height could reach 5 meters. The water could reach Kherson within 2 hours. The wave speed is up to 25 kilometers per h. Zelensky warned about today's events 7 months ago. We have information that Russian terrorists have mined the dam and equipment of the Kokovka hydroelectric power station. There is a possibility of significant flooding of a substantial part of southern Ukraine. We continue to monitor the situation in Ukraine. Comment what you think about this. You can support our channel if you want. In a description below, you can find a PayPal, Visa, and MasterCard requisites. Thank you for watching.